One of the ways that I've found to search for comparable properties that I may want to use as a comparable in a tax protest is to actually use the properties on Harris County Appraisal District site. Now you may know of properties within your neighborhood. You know your neighborhood best. And this is where you can come in and find out the information that HCAD has on them. Let's say there's a house that HCAD has used as a comp for you and you know it's been completely remodeled and then they've added on to it. So it's actually not a comp. You come in here and you use the property search function to find information about that property. So this property for you can do a quick search. Let's say I want to find um, a property by address. I'm going to click in here by account if you know the account number or by the owner name. And so if your neighbor's house is used as one of your comps and you know that it's actually not what it says it is, you can use that in your protest. Also, if you just want to find a home that you may not know about or, or you want to research homes that could potentially be a comp to use in your protest, you would use this real advanced, uh, real property advanced record search. And the best way to do that is to actually use the maps that are on here already. And it's going to be your facet maps. So if you scroll in here, let's say I'm going to use Garden Oaks as my example. So we click in here. Here is 45. I know Shepherd's in here somewhere. So Garden Oaks is going to be right in here. So I'm going to click, uh, it looks like 5260D. And in here there are 12. This is the way they have everything gridded out in Houston. So um, I'm going to look in here. And I'm going to go to section 5. Uh, so here's my section. I see, yes, this is Garden Oaks and some of Oak Grove. So this, these are items that I would want to use for the particular house that I'm looking to find comps for. Um, so I will copy this number here. I'm going to go back to the property search page. Now you can go number by number because each section may only have one or two homes. Then you even have to go a little bit further and maybe go to the home and take a picture of it because they're going to want adequate evidence. You cannot just go in there and say, my property values are too high. My taxes are too high. I need you to lower them. That will not work. Evidence and data is what they are looking for. So come over here to the property search page and you're going to go down to real property advanced and go and go ahead and put the map facet in there. Additionally, you can search by zip code. Uh, zip code can, can be a really good resource, but you really have to know your neighborhoods because an appraiser may not let you use a comp that is in Garden Oaks when your home is in Oak Forest. They are two separate neighborhoods. Now, they may let you go one or two facets over or pro protest your location within the neighborhood because it's across the street from a school or across the street from a gas station or whatnot but you need to have clear and legitimate evidence. Now, so I put my, fat, my, my map facet in there and I'm going to go down here to total square footage. I'm going to go ahead and put in 1300 square feet. So, and I'll do a total value range of 10%. And we search. So these are all of the homes that fall within that in that map facet. So there are quite a few. You go through and you say, okay, this one sounds like a reasonable one. This one sounds like a reasonable one. Unfortunately, you cannot search by whether it's a three bed or a, a three bed, two bath and whatnot. So you'll have to actually go, go in here and manage that. And when you go back, everything gets erased. So make sure you put that map facet back in there. You can do that by total square footage. Um, you can do that by value. So, I mean, I know specifically in Garden Oaks, the, the 
price per foot can be one set. It could be 200 up to over 350 a foot. So if you wanted to, you could look and say, okay, let's see. Total value could be 400,000. Do a search for that. plus or minus and go through there. So this is where the real work comes in and that you really need to dial down what those comps are, what those homes are. Realistically, you probably have one or two in your head because you drive the streets and you look at the packet that they give you and you say, that's not a comp. So you're looking to find comps on your own that make what you think your property value is make sense. Thank you so much, and I hope this helped.